Rockstar Games are breaking one by one piece to get ready for Grand Theft Auto 6 coming in fall 2025, and this is actually how. So recently, they actually posted on their newswire that Red Dead Redemption is coming to PC. Well, that is actually something they had planned for quite some time now, and it looks like there's a secret Easter egg that most fans have might have missed with Red Dead Redemption coming on to PC, according to GTA 6 as well. It looks like there's also Easter eggs in GTA 6 that confirms something that Rockstar have been planning for quite some time now and we're going to be diving into that in this video today and going over some of the new collectibles that Rockstar Games posted as well and kind of breaking down the Grand Theft Auto 6 information and more. So if you guys do enjoy videos like this on the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe for more daily awesome videos such as videos like this. So here's the first thing Rockstar got out of the way. It's actually the brand new Red Dead Redemption collectible that they released with the release of Red Dead Redemption, which we know is going to be coming in October 29th. As you guys can see, it's like a deck of Red Dead Re Redemption cards. You guys can see it's cool. I love it. I really do love the collectible. And they got like all different kinds of Rockstar and Red Dead Redemption dice in different colors. It looks really cool. And it looks like not only is Rockstar Games branding this, it looks like lots of people are are purchasing this as well, including Sean Fontano, you know, voice actors of GTA 5, Ned Luke, and so on. So a lot of people are actually getting this. Well, this is actually Rockstar getting some of the stuff out of the way to prepare for Grand Theft Auto 6, as we know it's going to be coming in fall 2025. As I said in previous videos, that's the release date of when to expect the game, and we talked about yesterday how it could be a late delay. And so this is kind of Rockstar Games kind of getting the games and getting the merchandise out of the way for the game so we might be getting closer than ever to getting information on trailer 2 or some type of announcement when the game arrives so once Rockstar Games put that collectible, there's actually been lots of members actually buying these dice. And when you actually purchase the dice, you actually get this message that says, thank you for purchasing. Order confirmation. Thank you for your order. We will be sending a confirmation when your order ships. So once you pretty much purchase the dice and the Rockstar new collectible, you can order it and you get the receipt that from Rockstar Games and it will actually alert you when it ships. So if you're interested in buying something like this, definitely recommend it. Um, like I said, Rockstar is cutting down uh, the simmer and trying to get everything out of the way for preparing for the game. And this kind of shows exactly because now they got like some kind of warning that there's going to be a GTA 4 remastered um, for the PS5. And it looks like there's also going to be some other games that Rockstar games are going to be remastering. So they're going to get those out of the way before the game comes. Not only that, but we do know that Rockstar Games is also going to have a Take-Two Interactive earnings call coming up November 7th in of 2024, where we could get more information upon news of how much GTA 5 has once sold, once again, and maybe some official news of the upcoming Trailer 2. As we know, Trailer 1 is already out, with still sitting at 200 million views, which is insane. And we know that Rockstar Games really haven't gave us an update since they got hacked, which we know that there was no issue there um, we've heard that they've got an intrusion that was the last message we actually received and that GTA 6 was well underway and we haven't really heard anything since so hopefully Rockstar Games are going to be breaking the silence very soon guys as they're getting all this merchandise out and finally getting Red Dead Redemption on PC it looks like once they do that that is the is the final time that they're going to be working on a remastered game. And then we get to hear some, hopefully, some information about GTA 6, just a little bit more of how big the map size is going to be. Just kind of a trailer kind of showing off more of the city, just how exactly how big it's going to be. Because I know GTA 6 is probably going to be the biggest game ever, and a lot of players are going to get this game. And there's a lot of fans wondering what Rockstar is planning on doing once they release Trailer 2. Is there going to be another Trailer 3? Three, is there going to be a message um, kind of explaining everything that Rockstar Games are currently working on? Or is there going to be some kind of update saying that the official release date by Rockstar Games? Who really knows at this point, but we know they're breaking the silence and they're getting ready to get out the biggest game of all time. And it's quite exciting, not to mention that there's also been files updated in the Steam database. And as you guys know that, that's pretty much letting us know when Rockstar Games are making updates to future game titles, such as 
as GTA 5, GTA 5 Online, and also GTA 6. And they have been updating that quite tremendously lately, and GTA 6 has also been tr trending on X. So once again, they might break their silence any day now, which would be great for us. And it looks like something else is coming back to GTA 6. You guys remember in GTA 5 how Jimmy would be on his TV kind of playing Rachel Slaughter, basically the game, kind of like kind of like Call of Duty, basically, in a parody of GTA 5. Well, it looks like someone actually found an Easter egg coming from Grand Theft Auto 6, and that is actually Rachel Slaughter on one of the guys and popularity celebrities at the car show. And you guys can see on his shirt literally says Rachel Slaughter, and he has a basically basically showing his fingers and his rings and his necklace and he has a really big gigantic shirt that has a reference to GTA 5 so that kind of shows that we're also going to be getting a new feature and that is going to be video games in Grand Theft Auto 6 once again so it would be kind of cool if Rachel Slaughter would make a return instead of Jimmy playing it maybe we could actually go to an event called Rachel Slaughter where we're actually in the event with Jason and Lucia or maybe something like you know we're just going to play it on a video game in a mission something like that so that'd be kind of cool i'm sure you guys did not know that this was a reference in gta 6 but it is rage of slaughter is so if you don't know what it is it's pretty much a uh, call of duty basically a parody in gta 5 and i'm sure a lot of you guys have encountered jimmy playing on this computer or playing on his tv in gta 5 or rise he would be like doing it at a mission i think it's like daddy or daddy's little girl where uh, michael smashes his tv and then you go did somebody say yoga where michael actually takes jimmy out to meet his friend and they but you know they talk about the tv and playing the video games and stuff like that so really really cool kind of a cool easter egg i thought i would show you guys right there so lots of good information coming from GTA 6. We got some new Easter eggs that are going to be coming to the game, hopefully soon. We also know that we're going to have maybe Trailer 2 make an appearance with the Take 2 Interactive earnings call. And of course, if any of that in transpires where Rockstar Games keep us updated or bring any information, I'll definitely keep you guys posted on all that information about GTA 6 Take 2 Interactive earnings call. Because lately, Rockstar Games have disappointed us with not keeping us updated like they used to. Like back in 2016 and maybe even the older days of GTA they actually gave us quite good information of when they were going to release something or when they had something to do with a huge amount of trailers and their process but lately they've just kind of been radio silent but as I say hopefully they will break that radio silent hopefully soon now anyway guys I want to hear what you guys think in the comments down below do you believe that GTA 6 is going to have an official release date very very soon do you also believe that Rockstar Games this is kind of Rockstar wrapping up everything to prepare for for the game and um do you would you like the fact that a new mini game or a new video game Rachel Slaughter will be making a return back in GTA 6 let me know what you're thinking in those comments down below I'd love to hear from you guys down there like I said guys thanks for watching stay happy healthy and well and I'll see you guys all later on the next video